Shalom, everybody, and welcome in the wonderful name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Jesus Christ, to Evangelical End Time Space. My name is Cody, and I would love to share this message of warning and encouragement to God's people in these last days. It is given to Prophet Benjamin Carl Sanson from the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This message is serious. I hope everybody takes heed to its warning. The message reads, And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. Warning from God to humanity of this world, the ungodly, however, will get the punishment their wicked thoughts deserve. Please share and do not change. Hello, very welcome on December 23rd, 2013, a messenger angel of God, of the Almighty God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But on this warning message of God to Benjamin Kyle Sanson, God's true end-time prophet. Shalom, I greet you in the wonderful name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Isa, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Verily, verily, I tell you, my name is Savatja, and I am a messenger angel of God. Verily, hear attentively. Genesis 6, verse 11 and 12. The earth also was corrupt before God. And the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And Jeremiah 51, verse 15 and 16. He, God, has made the earth by his power. He has established the world by his wisdom. And by his understanding, he has stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, there is a tumult of waters in the heavens, and he cause, causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain and brings forth the wind out of his treasuries. Wisdom of Solomon 3 verse 10 The ungodly, however, will get the punishment their wicked thoughts deserve, because they rebelled against the Lord and ignored what is right. Psalm 18 verse 15 then the channels of waters appeared. The foundations of the world were laid bare at the rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. Sirach 2, verse 15 to 18. Those who fear the Lord do not disobey His commands. Those who love Him will live as He wants them to live. Those who fear and love the Lord will try to please Him and devote themselves to the law. Those who fear the Lord are always ready to serve Him. They humble themselves before Him and say, We place our destiny in the hands of the Lord, not in human hands, because His mercy is as great as His majesty. Read aloud John 3, verse 16. Here it is written, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. I am going now. Ruaka, Yeshu, Shalom, spoke the messenger, angel of God, and disappeared. Also I say to you, Ruaka, Yeshu, Shalom. The Lord bless you.